What's up everybody, it's Chef Philip here. Just thought I'd uh, change it up a little bit. This is gonna be some coconut oil and avocado oil infusions. I have 200 milligrams of coconut oil and 250 milligrams of avocado oil I will be infusing. We're gonna do about 10 grams of each one. This is just switch it over right here for you. Make a nice even spread. Got my oven at 235. I'm gonna put it in about 10-15 minutes. Yeah. What you do? All right, so the cannabis is decarboxylated at 235 degrees. What we're gonna do now is put them in jars. Got a little funnel for it. Start putting that stuff in there. Nice and easy. jar. And let me just tell you something, this smell is amazing. What a wonderful smell. That's how you know it's working. Ready? What you want to do next? Make sure you didn't make a mess. Take both of these. Let's pour it right over there. All the good stuff. Come back and scrape that. 200 milliliters of coconut oil, 250 of the avocado oil. What we will do next is the top one. Put it in there and put some water in here and leave it on the warmer. Then I'll get back and uh, I can stay about an hour, but I'm probably gonna let it do it maybe like six hours just to get everything. Yep, that's all you do. I'll be back. So, as you can see, it's 120 degrees. Just chilling here. It's been about 
I don't know, four hours, but it's kind of late right now, so go to bed. It's not going to hurt it. Do it in the morning. Finish it up. It's only going to get better. Mm -hmm. All the good stuff. show you see you on the next scene here's the uh, screen right here where the um, cheesecloth fails this helps out so that's nice this is actually one of those things that you uh you you get from the doctor you have to pee in see if you got any kidney stones so it works out fine this wasn't used for that it's got a few extra <laughs> yep, yeah, got, got all the, the bad stuff in there. Yep. Yeah. All the good stuff is just right in there. Just the good stuff. Good stuff. Bad stuff. Alright, so we have our coconut oil infusion right here all melted up we got the heat about medium which we're gonna do we have beeswax we just have about two grams of finely zested with this microplane good old beeswax and we're gonna do a grapefruit uh, salve today so what you want to do is get it nice and warm of course under a hundred under 220 of course you don't want the water boiling you just want to add a little bit of this as at a time, nice and fluffy. Just put it in there. Not in big chunks, just enough for it to have enough surface area to melt right away. What we're going to do is just keep adding. While we're stirring, you always want to stir because you don't want, it's just like making a roux. You don't want that, uh, those chunks. And what this is going to do, this is going to harden it up and make the uh make it just more solid at room temperature so this is 200 this is 200 mils right now so I do just about 200 a gram for every hundred mils milliliters that is and it's been working out so this is not going to raise it too much. So if I done my math right, it's going to be a um just about every teaspoon. It's going to be like a point five. I don't. I'll have to do my research some more. I do about five drops to start off with. One, two, three, four, five. One extra. Got six drops in there. Stir it around a little bit. Give it a little smell. Put another five drops in there. Because, I mean, it's a very hemp smell. One, two, three, four, five. One for good luck. And what you, uh, yeah, you kind of want to not really mask it, but you mean the grapefruit, if you're going to be rubbing this on your neck or anywhere else, you don't want it to be smelling like straight dank, so. Trying to kind of and what this grapefruit is, it's just a uh, hundred percent pure grapefruit oil. This is cold pressed, uh, so it's a sweet citrus. It's purifying, cheerful, and uplifting. So it's going to help a lot with just the overall quality of life whenever you smell this, because you don't want to smell, you know, hella weed. One for good measure. So we got about 18 drops in there right now. And what you just want to do is just keep stirring it up. 
and make sure it's all good. And you just want to see in the spoon, see how fast it's going to turn to a how fast it's going to turn to a solid. And that's what matters. Oh yeah, that's looking really nice. Really nice. So we're, what we're just seeing is, you know, how long it's going to take. It's going to reach a solid point. Because so, you don't want, like, straight liquid going on you. That's what I'm going to do with the avocado oil. It's going to be more of a uh, an ointment than a rub. It's, it's starting to come together. Mm, smelling quite nice. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, just for measurement purposes, I'm going to measure how much five drops is. Two, three, four, five. All right, so it's about... Just about a fourth of a teaspoon, easy for a quarter teaspoon. So we put one, two, three, four. We put just about 30 drops in there, 35. So that's seven quarter teaspoons. Seven divided by four. All right, seven quarter teaspoons. Yes, yeah, so that's. Quarter, half, three quarters, teaspoon. And we, so we just got about just under two teaspoons in there right now. Or uh, just about two teaspoons. Which is nice. It's only going to raise our milliliters a little bit. One teaspoon is just under five mils. So we're going to see how much we're going to have to raise this by. Oh, it's smelling nice right now. And of course, if you want to add some, uh, some good old cocoa butter, you can. It always helps out everything. Oh, cocoa butter. Cocoa butter is going to be really good. It's going to help with the, uh, you know, soften up your skin without using harsh chemicals. All organic, you know. That's how we do. Oh, and that's just a, a great smell. So what we're going to do is just raise it up by 15. We're going to raise, we're just going to put another teaspoon to help out the whole process so that's going to be a uh, 15 milliliters altogether of grapefruit it's about a tablespoon Turn this on low. It's already melted up now. Oh, 
Oh, that smells great. Alright, right now, so we have just about, um, about 215, 225 milliliters all together. So I'm going to do the math on that real quick. Just let this melt a little bit. Let it all seep in. So what we're going to do is, do this really quick, we got 10 grams, we got 10 grams divided by 225, so every milliliter is going to be about a .04 for everybody asking. Yep, and that's how you do it. Thank you, and goodbye. I'll make this in another video.